What's up, Ocean? You got Matt here, and we also have a very special guest with us today who's been on the channel before. Why don't you say hi? Hey, am I the only person that's been on your channel? No, we have a couple other people that have been <gasps> oh, yes, on the channel. True. Just a few, few little guys that have uh, been awesome friends to me, so they're gonna, they've are gonna they been on the channel before, and they've asked some questions for like us. Like Nacho. Nacho hasn't been on the channel, no. <laughs> but we have Aaron, who's been on the channel. I believe Ash has been on the channel. Uh, we have Sohan, who's been on the channel, I think think at this point that's it don't mess with the sohan wow <laughs> I, I can't wait to tell him that you said that i can't wait to tell him <laughs> anyways so today uh is just a a huge thank you to you guys uh, a little while ago i can't remember exactly when uh we hit 500 subscribers on the wow. channel and like you guys honestly have no idea how incredible that feels because a lot of the stuff that that i, I put out is stuff that i feel like is it's good content but i still have kind of a ways to go to make it content that i really really am proud of of the co of the quality and just of everything and i just want to say thank you guys and i know julia wants to say thank you too i guess because uh yeah uh, it, it, thank you guys so much for listening to maddie and uh, i think i said this a couple of videos ago that i was um that i was in but like maddie you have such like a big voice like i think it was at like around 300 or maybe 200 where i said like you have such like an audience now and like 500 people want to listen to what you have to say and stuff and like just thank you guys for listening to him yeah look i i, I really appreciate it because you guys could choose to there's, there's literally hundreds probably thousands of people who have a pokemon youtube account who are trying to play league format and trying to do things and i feel like what i've been able to do i've been able to kind of separate myself a little bit and it's because of you guys and your support and just everything from you guys so because of that we are going to be doing a 500 subscriber q and a now we did a q and a i believe for 50 subscribers and that's still up on the channel so if you guys want to go check <laughs> it out you definitely can it was um over a year ago at this point uh, maybe like 13 months ago oh so my goodness a lot ha has happened in a year a lot has happened in a year like julia graduated from university that's all i can think of because that's all i did <laughs> you, got a, you got a teaching degree as well uh yeah. like i i I'm almost done university now. We went to Florida. I went to Universal Studios. Yeah, yeah. A lot happened. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and get right into it because we have over 30 questions to answer. We're going to try and get through all of them as mm -hmm. quickly as we can at the same time, giving you guys some sort of, I guess, detail. So question number one is wedding when? <laughs> so I can tell you yeah. this much. Yeah, um, answer the question. <laughs> you answer the question. When is it? February If I could propose to you, I would. Wait, what? February 32nd. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't know, guys. Uh, it's been like almost four and a half, getting close to five years <laughs> that we've been together. So, uh, I mean, it's been a while, but at the same time, we both, well, I'm still in school. Julie just got out of school. It's about finding a job right now. And that's yeah. more important at this point. I want a little house of plants first. Yeah, a little house of plants. Would you get a dog? I don't know. Maybe it's a question. I would get a dog, though. I like dogs. <laughs> Moving on. Any dating advice that you want to give to us single folks? Um, when uh, Maddie and I first started dating, his friend, who just got out of a, a rough, like it ended rough, yeah, very um, rough. Hit this relationship, and he said the main advice that he could give us is to always tell the truth and always be truthful. If something's bothering one of us like we should always say it and i oh i always think of that moment when he tells us because like let's say you're mad but it's like no no it's fine or something like i'll be fine but then like it builds up and it builds and builds so like i always tell myself to tell you if i'm like uncomfortable with something or if i'm mad and uh, yeah that's my advice to always communicate always talk yeah talking is definitely a big thing making sure that you have like your voices heard because at the same time like you have your own goals and aspirations, but you are a couple, so mm -hmm. you need to, I guess, have the thoughts of being a couple. So you have your couple feelings and you have your single person feelings, so you have to have your own life as well within that. So mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know, I kind of, I didn't say what I want to say very well, but I think you got the point well, across. no, so. you did. Okay, well, good to know. Good to know <laughs> that I did. All right, mm -hmm. moving on though to our next question. We have, what is the most annoying habit slash quality <laughs> you find in each other? Um... Uh, Everyone's gonna love this question. Uh, the the most, but there's so many. Like, <laughs> okay. okay well, I can I can tell you one for me. I, okay, I okay. bite my nails. Okay. 
so that's like not in Ethiopia, oh i thought like, about you yeah i know oh I know, but like <laughs> i was gonna say like that's what it would be um, what do you find that's annoying about me then uh i, I don't know i don't know like uh like you, you play with your hair and you kind of like like sometimes you'll rip out some hairs I want well no the ends the, the ends. ends okay the ends sorry yeah um, that, that could be annoying yeah but you is that you're so stubborn sometimes yeah like i i it took me two years two and a half years to convince him to get winter boots we live in canada <laughs> like i and then he's like no 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 like there's no snow on the sidewalk i'm like there was no snow on the sidewalk. um okay like but you still need winter boots like uh, okay moving on oh my gosh okay. <laughs> Uh, how sexy is Matt O'Shea on a scale of one to Matt O'Shea? Um, Matt O'Shea Infinity. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, are you a big fan of OP Jellison? That's Sohan. And oh, uh, don't mess with the Sohan. <laughs> Again, I'm going to tell him you said that. Okay. <laughs> okay, again, moving on. Sohan is awesome, guys. So if you haven't checked him out, make sure you go and subscribe to him. He's got like at least 2,000 subscribers now, so good for him. Moving mm -hmm. on, though. What is the most overrated mon in a draft, in my opinion? Um, what is the overrated mon in draft, Julia? Um, Why don't you tell us? Pikachu. Pikachu. I mean, that makes sense. It's the uh -huh. mascot. Uh, for, me, <laughs> for me, I definitely think it's Lander uh, it, It's It's really um, good, but people think it's so much better than it actually is. And that, just because it's overrated doesn't mean it's not good. But Lander Asterian. Landorus Therian. Ooh, Lander. Yeah. You want to try and spell that out for us? No. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, what would happen if Pinocchio says, "My nose will grow right now," "My nose will grow right now," by Sir Salad? Sir Salad, hey Sir Salad. Um, my nose will grow right now. Like, what do you if mean? Pinocchio if says I it. say a lie? Because if Pinocchio says it. Oh, oh. oh. If he says his nose will grow right now, then he it means he has because his nose only grows when he lies. So like. Oh. You know what? I can't even think of it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Next question. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> would you ever compete in a draft league with Julia? Um, Julia. You ready to lose? Do you, do you want to tell me about your experience playing Pokemon? I'm, oh, well, po like, be more specific. Pokemon cards. Um, Th what what I do. What you do? Yeah. Uh, we've played before, right? You, you played against Ash's girl, or Ash's wife, sorry. Yeah. And that was, that was I just game. I just go off what sounds the best, you know? Oh, yeah. Why don't you tell everyone about your Alt Mega Altaria nickname? Oh, um, uh, what was it? Come on, you know it. Altarier motive. There you go. That's how much she has experience. If she, if she, I have more experience play, than you. I would, I would definitely like. If she decided, hey, I want to join a league with like a bunch of newbies. I'd be, I would set it up. I'd, I'd help make it happen, and then I would just say, all right. I'm not a newbie. You're a newbie. Okay, thanks. All right. Well, I, I, you guys know what I'm gonna say. I, I would help her out, help her get started, help her kind of understand it. But uh, I would, I would leave her to her own devices once she kind of gets, I guess, a bit more uh, comfortable. Moving on. If you could ask your future selves one question, what would it be? From a fellow Mylodic fan. Hey. Um, wh what do you think? Or should I answer first? Cause you, 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 answer go first. first. you go first. If you could ask your future self one, selves, co selves selves one question. Um, mm, I, I have no idea. Uh, I don't want to make it deep, though. <laughs> make it. Just just say something. But, like, because uh, I already know the question to this. Um, then say it because I have no idea. <laughs> Well, I would say, like, no, 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 because I, I know, because I'll, I would say, like, was it all worth it? Like, you know, the trials and tribulations of life type of thing. But I know it is because, you know, everything's worth it in the end, all the struggles and stuff, because it makes you stronger. So I guess, like, the less deep question would be, like, what are my kids' names? Because, like, <laughs> <laughs> or, like, do I have a dog? <laughs> do I have a dog? Do I love him? I guess. I think that's what I would ask. All right. Okay, that's, that's pretty Or, like, deep. am I a good mother or... Stuff like that, but obviously I'd say like hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Oh. Yeah. Um. Move, okay. Okay. Next. What about up. you? What about I, you? I, I, I'm not ready to oh, know. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. What is the third favorite draft league season? The third favorite. Um, you know what? The third favorite draft league season I will have ever participated in will have been probably. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, hmm, the first ever season of the Dream League was my favorite because it was the first time I ever. Uh, join a league. Then I'll say the Discord Draft League season one or season two. It was that was the second ever league I joined, and then the third one. I'll say, uh, I'll say this season of the ICBA that's going on right now has been a lot of fun. So uh, I'll leave it at that. Anyways, moving on. What makes you tick? Like tick. Like a clock. Like tick tock. Tick. Like what? What drives me or what? I what's guess. my pet that's peeve? A, I guess what, what drives you. What makes you? What drives you? It's, 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 Wait. What? Oh, I I don't know. In what way? Like what drives you to? do stuff like um 
my mental health. Like, I don't know. I can't just, you know, yeah, be I'm on the couch all day, you know? Well, like, that. that's always fun, you know? But at one point, it's like, hey, let's go, let's go do things. Yeah. No, like, it's time to get out of the house and just go and, like, smell the fresh, frozen air in this barren wasteland. Oh, my gosh, wasteland. yesterday, my face, it hurt. Yeah, that's how cold like it was. it hurts. Yeah. Next. <laughs> Top five rivals in league format. Uh, Scrappy, Tails, and Pedro, number one. Those are, like, all three of them. I know those guys. Okay. Yeah, those are the Bull Beetles. Um, I'll throw Walk in there, too, but Walk and I don't think have played it very much. Uh, then there we got Aaron, of course. Uh, we got Sohan. Uh, who else? That's, that's more than five already, but... I'll kind of keep going, I guess. Uh, Austin, um, Johnny GB, I guess, even though we, I think we only played once, maybe. And uh, yeah, Johnny I mean, GB. Johnny GB, yeah. Johnny Golf Ball. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, moving on. That's um, my rivals, I guess. Next up, we have How Did You Meet? Yeah, you Maddie, how did we meet? You go ahead and answer this one. Okay. So, Maddie and I... It was a dark I, winter night. Oh, yeah. No, it was summer. Similar to tonight. Um, no, well, okay. Because Maddie and I, we had the same friends for a long time ever since we were 12 and my best friend was his friend and she would always be like oh I like this guy I like like you know he's my friend i'd be like oh that's chill whatever well then we go to sejep which is like college it's yeah like, it's in like in montreal 12, yeah in montreal um our uh high school it goes till grade 11 and then there's two or three years of sejep aka college sejep is the french way of saying it and then you go to university it's kind of like a trial period to like find out what you really want to do in university like at first i didn't like you know it's, it's baby university pretty much yeah yeah it was really fun it's like anyways so and we went to different sejeps but a lot of my friends went to his sejep so i would always go up and visit them and uh one day on the green you know the uh, on, on the quad the um, my friends and I were sitting down and Maddie joins the circle and I was like hi I'm Julia and then he just <laughs> looks at me <laughs> and then he's like oh hi then he turns his head I'm like okay dick like, it was like <laughs> okay to be fair to be fair and Julia knows this I had literally gotten my braces on like uh, that day all right and I had this thing that was couldn't wave couldn't sign language <laughs> I was in pain, all right? It, I got this thing that really ex like, it expanded my jaw and yeah. it kind of pushed my teeth and I was in a lot of pain. So I, th I think you can forgive me for that because it all worked out in the end. Yeah, but then at the end of Sage Up, our friend had a going away party because she was going to university in Toronto. And then uh, we both uh, went and it's funny because uh, we were both like uh, maybe on that night and yeah. but we both went. And uh, The only reason I went was because I was like... Like You're I was, bringing I was, the supplies. Yeah, someone someone said, hey, can you come? I said, sure. And she's like, okay, please, can you bring, like, a big-ass case of water? And I said, okay. And that's the only reason I went. I, I just I, came because, you know, I'm the life of the, the party. party. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, that's a pretty long answer to the question. So yeah, we'll sorry, on. sorry. Okay, um, is the love lock coming back? No. Um, there, look, we... Is that the thing we did in Florida? Yeah, I think we... I, because I had to go to school and everything. And then I one. had to start going to school. And now we're both on break, um, but... It, it, it's it's a lot of work to set it up and I feel like it'd take a long time to finish it would take a really long time to finish and it's not like I can have it's not like I have two monitors and I can have like myself playing on one and Julia playing on the other it's like I literally have to set up OBS on her laptop with the emulator and I'd set up OBS while I already have it on my laptop and the emulator on my laptop and we play and we have it like recording on both of our sides we have both the audio and then we just mash it together it, it's crazy it's too much effort to, to do and I really wanted to work out in the summer, but it just didn't so I'm sorry So the next question is what five items would y'all bring on a deserted island? For me, I would definitely think a knife is something important to bring um, probably yeah. like a pot as well uh, to, like, Yeah, yeah, cook yeah, stuff yeah, in. yeah um, uh, Matches? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. What uh, you, we can make fire without you matches. You were in scouts. No, you weren't in scouts. scouts. Your brothers no. were in scouts. No. Um, I feel like that'd be really useful because, like, how to survive. Yeah, because how wilderness. often are you at, like on a deserted island with like you five never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> okay. What about you? Give me like two items. Um. Okay. Uh, a pot and a and a knife is really good. Um. A tent. Um. Okay. A thermal blanket. A thermal blanket. And. Uh, I guess matches. Okay, and matches. All right, matches. We're gonna go with matches. Favorite hentai. Yeah. <laughs> Naruto. <Sons. laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Before, did you guys know? Did you guys know that Dragon Ball was originally written by a guy who made hentai? He has multiple talents in different fields of writing. Okay. All right. Next question. If you were a Pokemon, what Pokemon would you want to be? What do you think you would be? And this question is for both of us. Um. 
Uh, I feel like being Eevee is too basic. I would be Snorlax because I get to sleep and eat all day. Well, I don't, I don't know. I always liked Eevee or Ponita. Ponita. All right. All right. All right. All right. Cool. Cool enough. Next. Is your mom gay? <laughs> yeah. yeah, thanks. Thanks. Gay as in happy? Yeah. And then yes. It's yes. very happy. Next. So for so for how many time will you keep this up? What? Oh he's Mono, your English needs work, man. Oh my um, gosh. So for how many times will you keep this Mono, up? Mono oh, like I'm the right. sickness? No, no, no. Oh. He's my buddy Mono. He's a good Aww. guy. Um so I mean, I don't know, we've been dating for four and a half years, so I don't think it's gonna go away anytime soon. Yeah. <laughs> Next. Question 20. What are your thoughts on Shiny Furth? Asking for a friend. Shiny Furth is ugly as dirt. What's a Furth? It's a, it's a Pokemon. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try and find uh, an, an image for you right now. Um, let me figure this out. Uh, Furth. Shiny. Let's see. Aww. So Julia thinks it's cute. I think it's like <laughs> a candy cane. Oh yeah, it is. Next, question 21. What is Julia's favorite Pokemon? Um, um, Eevee. No, I, I don't know. A funny one, like Wobbuffet. <laughs> you know Wobbuffet? Yeah. Okay. I oh, watched the a, show. Uh, Unlike you, why. you never watched the show. I watched this, like the first season. After that, it was bad. <laughs> yeah, it kind of drags on, doesn't it? Next. Will you ever do a song cover? I can't sing, and my yes, voice does can. not sound very nice. You're more of a dancer. Oh, fun fact. Uh, uh, your boy was in a breakdancing crew. <laughs> yes, I, <laughs> Knows I how to, to do dance. the worm and everything. Yeah, I can do the worm. Yeah, that's me. Matt O'Shea does the worm. How did you get into the draft league community? So, um, obviously, you're not really going to ask this because you don't know too much. Because I'm already in. I don't know. Because you're already in. Okay, so a couple years ago, I think it was uh, summer of 2016, if I'm mistaken, like early summer 2016. Um, it was the UCL season two, like the league with Nappy and Shady and all those YouTubers. And uh, I would just happen to be on the UCL Reddit stream one day, and someone um, by the name of McCree, he made a Reddit post saying, hey, um, I'm going to do something called the Dream League, which is a, um, I, I guess, kind of a, a, a mock of the UCL. So you basically applied, and you got in. It was the first 16 coaches to get in, or to ask that they got in, and I basically assumed the role of Joey and his Bronx Bear Ticks for that season. And I played out the schedule, and any drops that were made, we couldn't make any transactions at all. It was just... We had the team for that person for throughout the entire season, and it was tons of fun. And then we started creating our own league, and that league is still going on now. We're in season seven, the playoffs, uh, and I believe season eight should be starting up uh, in a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months. And then it kind of just grew. I got invited to another league, the Discord Draft League by Tails, and then it kind of just exploded from there. And I started uh, uploading videos to YouTube, and then uh, I got approached by a couple other people saying, Hey, do you want to join my league? And I said, Sure. And now it is what it is. So, yeah. Moving on to question 24, what is my favorite Generation 7 Pokemon? Julia, what's your favorite Gen 7 Pokemon? What, what's Gen 7? I'm going to show you a list of Gen 7 Pokemon, okay? And let's see which one is your favorite just based on the uh, just based on the images, all right? So go ahead. I don't know any of these. Just, just, what, which, like, just on the pictures. Um, wait, move, move, move. Go ahead. Come There's on, a see. sand castle. That's nice. Um, I would have to say for me, it's probably Mimikyu, which is that little guy right there. Oh yeah, the, the the puppet. Little ghost thing, yeah. Um taking too long. Sorry. They're gonna click away. They're gonna stop this watching. This is cute. Okay, okay, she chose Young Goose. Young Goose Young Goose. This one looks like Don. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next up. Um question twenty five. Will you do a let's go a Pikachu and Eevee league? If you guys haven't checked it already, the draft analysis is already up, so Yeah, you already have it. Go ahead and check it out. You guys got it. Week one should be going up a week from that when that went up, which was I think Friday the 7th is when it went up, so it should be up the next week, so uh, enjoy. Next up, uh, when is Julia starting her draft league career, and what is her team name? What's your team name? Um, oh, if I had more time to think, because you're pressuring me, you're rushing me. London um, Licky Tongues. What? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Uh, um, it's just, just a Pokemon and a city that has an alliteration. That's the very most bare bones, easiest way to do it. The um, Montreal Moo Moo's. Montreal. M what? What? No Mongoose? Tanks. Wait. Mon Young Goose. Yeah, Montreal Young Goose. I, I don't New know. New York Young Goose. I, I don't um, know. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Her draft league career is starting February 32nd. Same as the wedding. Hey. <laughs> um, are you possibly going to play other games? Right now, if you guys don't know, I record and I edit and I do everything off of my shitty little MacBook Air. Uh, so oh, oh, Maddie. Hey, hey, hey. A lot of people hey. don't have the resources you have. You're absolutely right. But for. What I'm trying to do, 
in terms of doing new games and even even uploading certain content. I, I can't really do that with a Mac like this. So I, it, unless I get like a full on PC, then no, you're probably just going to be sticking to uh, Pokemon content. I did Duel Links content for a little bit, but I kind of dropped that. Next up, only four more questions left. When do we get face reveal? Julia, how many subscribers? Um, was it 10,000? 100. 100,000. No, I said 10,000. 10, but you should, because I feel like your sex appeal will, will draw in more people. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> 10,000 subscribers. We always said that. I would do a face reveal before you, right? I can't remember. Because remember when we vlogged, like, you kind of see my face? Oh, you yeah, know, we see the back of your head, I think. Yeah. That vlog is dope. <laughs> that vlog got copyrighted. That vlog was the same. Oh, did it? Yeah. Do, it's not on YouTube anymore? No, it's on YouTube, but like, I, if it ever became monetizable, I wouldn't make any money. That was the same day as my five-year reunion, and I was very like, oh my god, I'm going to have to see It was also the same day that Ultra Sun Ultraman came out. Yeah. Next, will Julie ever make a channel? Um, <laughs> she does. She has multiple channels, and she's uploaded a couple videos to one of them. She actually but has like 80,000 subscribers. It's insane. So. Yeah. No, I have two videos on YouTube. One of them's a vlog of us going to see The Incredibles 2. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the other one's face? a makeup video. I don't know. I might share it. But I, y yeah, you see your face. So, mm. Mm. yeah. Mm. You see your face too. So, yeah. It's so and you're into weird as shit in that. In the, in the, the Incredibles one. Why? You just do. You're like roaming around. It was just weird. That's what I do, baby. All right. Next up. Next up. Favorite hentai. Again. By Trapich. Naruto. Uh, Seven Deadly Sins. <laughs> <laughs> this one is only for Matt. When will you finally play in one of my simulations? Even Burr plays in them now. Mesh, if this is you, I swear to God, I am not playing in Big Brother. I have no idea what to do. Are these their right? real names? <laughs> these are their online names. Okay. <laughs> I I don't know, man. I don't know. If, if I... Like, a lot of the time, you guys do them usually at like 1 in the morning too. So I'm usually either sleeping or I'm... You are not basketball. sleeping at 1 a.m. Or I said, or watching basketball. Oh, yeah. Okay. Next. Last question. Why is someone the greatest Pokemon battler on the face of planet Earth? Because Fine. he has no idea what he's doing most of the time. Don't mess. The end. <laughs> That's it, guys. Um, <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video. Yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you had fun making it with me. Yeah, it was dope. Uh, yeah, so it was dope right there. And I'm, I'm sorry if it lasted a little bit too long. And I think the time we did the 50 subscriber milestone, that, that took, like, forever to get out. Because I, I literally, I think I did the... the like the questions and then it took i think a full two months to get the the uh the the answer by the time we, by the time that happened we're at 100 subscribers already so mm. yeah but anyways guys um i hope you guys have a very happy holiday season yes um, yes happy holidays happy if it it's hanukkah now so happy hanukkah if you celebrate hanukkah happy kwanzaa happy merry christmas and uh if you don't celebrate you know whatever it's okay live life enjoy your random tuesday that's also happens to be the 25th yeah please enjoy life because it is very enriching you know like it uh, okay i know be, i, I know you're, you, want thing, to, you, you want me to you want me to hurry thing. up because thing. life is beautiful like because life someone told me life is easy it's just that we make it hard you know it, it but like life is hard but like I, my motto is always choose happiness. Like when you wake up, it's like, don't let your first thought be like, oh, I have to go to work. Let it be like, oh, I'm so excited that I can go to work, that I do have a job, you know, like things like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just do what you can to make your day brighter. And uh, I'm, I'm also really, a most motivational speaker. <laughs> she's a motivational speaker. Yeah, yeah go on. So sorry. um, thanks for interrupting me. But what I wanted to say was um, do, do what you can to make your day better for you and uh, focus on the little things and I mean, I want to say thank you guys so much for helping us hit yeah. 500 subscribers. It, it means a lot, and I, I really am thankful to every single one of you. Whether you whether you've watched one of my videos, none of my videos, or every single one of them, I, I'm really grateful for all of you guys uh, to have, I guess, taken time out of your days to watch, talk, interact, whatever it be. So, thank you guys so much. Mm. Um, thank you for helping me, me with this video. And uh, yeah, without further ado, that's gonna be it. So, uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you all next time. I got that kind of damn near 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 Bye! <laughs>